Aussie and I'm an Australian. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this guy's looking at me, fucking schizoid. Jesus, what's going on? That's cool, I drink, he drives. It's all good. You know, I know, you've got to get used to the accent. I will slow down. God, you have so many accents in this country. Oh, I love it. Five mile radius, 30 accents. Some of them English. <laughs> In Australia, we have two accents, slow and really bloody slow. <laughs> so the whole world's in rehab, aren't they? Oh my God, life's just like one big 12-step program. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, we've all got addictions. I, I had a sex addiction for a while and uh, yeah, I beat it, which is ironic because if I had a beaten it, I wouldn't have been addicted in the first place. You know? <laughs> yep. I once looked up my, uh, actually I've read this book, it's, uh, it was all about finding your perfect match, it was great. I thought, wow, become what you want to attract. You want to find your perfect match, become what you want to attract. So I became a hooker. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't meet my perfect match, but I made 500 bucks, which is pretty good. You know? <laughs> Got beaten up and addicted to drugs, but you know, there's a downside, sure. <laughs> uh, I want love, that's what I want. I reckon the first sign of love is sparkle in the eyes. <laughs> well, a raging heart on's a dead giveaway too, I guess. Uh, <laughs> snogging, right? Right in front of you. Does that annoy you? It does me. You know, I don't mean the kissy kissy lovey lovey couple. I mean the full on porno pashing. Oh, oh, oh. You know, they know you're there. You know, that's why I put it back on them. I get up really close and go, oh, you make me so horny when you kiss it, baby. Oh, I like it a lot when you do the kissy kissy. Oh, that make me so horny. Oh, you mind if I join in? I give you a massage. <laughs> like Hollywood movie, you get happy ending. <laughs> Try it, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Until they kick you out of the hotel room, then it gets a little socially awkward, but uh, <laughs> very socially awkward. Oh, guess what? You know, I wrote a song today, just knowing I was coming here. And, uh, you're gonna love this. Oh, yeah. Little uh, blues number I wrote, and uh, go something like this. Here we go. <laughs> There's always one blues enthusiast on the road. You're thinking, bullshit, you didn't write that. That's John Lee Hooker. <laughs> no, close, John Lee Hooker. <laughs> if you had a notice, I went. <laughs> I don't want to get pedantic or anything, you know what I mean? But I put a whole little extra E note in there. There's a little facial expression, you know, just completely improvise. It. <laughs> okay, all right. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm starting to like you guys, haven't I? I want to hear the first song I ever wrote when I was seven? <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Piss off, I was seven, mate. You write something better. <laughs> Can you play guitar? <laughs> yeah. Okay. 60s, I reckon, was a great time to be a muso. Oh, the 60s was all about the lyrics, wasn't it? Eh? You could get away with anything in the 60s because everybody was so high on drugs, they just thought you were being profound. I mean, if you listen to some of the lyrics, you know, in the winter time. When all the leaves are brown and the wind blows I stay inside Don't go outside In the winter time The leaves are brown So brown on the ground <laughs> with the leaves about another half hour <laughs> 70s that's what I like the guitars got louder hey? oh yeah <laughs> Just the women, okay. Jimi Hendrix didn't even know the words. I reckon that's why he took so many guitar solos, you know? He'd be like, well, I stand up past you, my man. <laughs> he did that. He always played with his mouth open, too. The... <laughs> the pity he didn't sleep that way. He'd still be alive, you know? <laughs> In the winter time, when all the leaves... Oh, 
I've done that one. Okay, thanks a lot, folks. Good night. God bless. Ciao.